Welcome back to some Chicken Police, I'm Dear Darling and join me in a couple of hard-boiled gumshoes as we take a walk on the wild side. Also in Chicken Police, the language used is not suitable for children, some scenes might be disturbing to younger audiences so consider yourself warned as we bring ourselves to the newspaper stand with Mullen and they seem to sell only two types of newspapers. They sell only newspapers, this is a, this is a Playboy magazine, <laughs> hey boy, that's actually really good. Um, well obviously I'm not going to pay attention to Mullen's that, so. car, ancient but kind of beautiful. Like the old beaver himself. Oh, that's quite some flattery you're dishing up to Seems like the kiosk is still a good business. I was going to say, this looks like quite a fancy car compared to all the other cars we've seen so far. This is like the highest detail bin I've ever seen. The taxi company <laughs> for the upper class only. Politicians and gangsters. Hmm, the upper class. Fontaine Superior. I had a chance to travel in one of these once. This must be good impact, I was impact, being huh? taken to my own execution. What? But that's <laughs> another story. Uh, that's kind of a story Murdoch I want to hear. I feel like. Falcon is a famous law firm in Clawville, mm. run by a blind bat and a bird-brained falcon. That doesn't sound particularly they successful, but they're doing well. That helped make their name. Mm. I hope I'll have the opportunity to work with them in the future. You had some harsh words with them, there. Well, I guess bird-brained maybe isn't necessarily an insult. What's this? Dead Silent Night. Can we turn it over? That looks like um, <laughs> Louis Farber from Beast Stars. What else can we look at? The Clawville Chronicle? The Clawville Chronicle. The most read and probably the most biased newspaper in the city. What newspaper is it? It's supposed isn't? to be a royalist. Oh, bag, <laughs> sorry. But the separatist <laughs> overtones are getting stronger and stronger every day. Hmm, interesting. Some dissent the Chronicle in the population. The put the chicken police on a pedestal or it was gnawing on our drumsticks. I don't know what Mostly that means. Mostly thanks to our dear friend. Timothy Saltwater. Mm. We made it He's much easier fan. to sell the paper until the public got bored. Well, what can you do when the public loses interest? There's nothing left Some for you. Some things eh? are indestructible, right? Yeah. Mullen's kiosk's been here since I was a little chick. Mm -hmm. My old man used to drive here from the other side of town for his daily papers. That seems really excessive. Yeah, <laughs> many <laughs> still do. He People are doing paper runs. Something. <laughs> Mullen's a wizard from a forgotten age. Yeah, kind of. I'm this newspaper enough, booth I guess? has been standing here for more than a hundred years. Hmm. It was always run by the Mullen family, like some strange the newspaper family business. To a forgotten age. This newspaper booth has been. I mean, you are in that forgotten age, I suppose, right now. This manhole cover, bike. Just trying to see if there's anything else we can look at. I want to look at these these magazines. Chandler's used to be oh, look, there's more than one type of magazine. Cafe. Magnificent animals had breakfast here, and in the evenings, philosophers and writers would get drunk together and argue. A right, cafe? The place is now just I mean, a guess, but... bookshop, just a shadow of its former self, <laughs> like so many things in this city, like me. Are they ever annoyed by the fact that this person will? Mullins set up his newspaper stand directly outside the door to this place. I wonder place. if they've got the entire Chicken Police series. It, not that I give a cluck, of course. Oh. But. Sunny. We know you care. I'm trying to see. I mean, maybe about Chicken Police. Okay, so this is Hey Boy. Tomorrow's Sports. This is like Comalis or something? I can't, I can't even read it. Uh, I'm trying to see it. Okay. Hello, Mullen. Have a look at We're you. We're getting older and older. And Mullen's not changing a bit. Doesn't the age. justice in that? <laughs> He's just eternal. Like an ancient god or something. Or the personification of the city. There's a lot of meaning you're looking into this, I think. <laughs> but if the city took Sunny. shape, it would most likely be some kind of vermin. Mm. Yeah, true. But that wasn't uh, very uh, politically correct. <laughs> That's a good point. From you, pal. This is a hey, bit you weird, know I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I know, Marty. You're too good for this world. Ah, oh, thanks, boss. Aww. It wasn't a compliment, Marty. <laughs> Marty, you are too good for this Mullen world, and never for us. closes his kiosk, not even on New Year's Eve. That's a diligent worker, right there. He's got to get hey, Max cool. business going. What's up, old friend? Hercule. Hello, me lads. It's good to see you. <laughs> what are you doing around here, where you never see a cat, go oh boy? <laughs> What a lovely we're voice. Working, Uncle Mullen, just like you. But I'm afraid we're also walking a little bit outside the law. I don't think that's something you should but so readily admit, Year's but... Eve. Couldn't it wait a bit? Whatever the case is, it can't be that serious. Oh, I'm you have no idea. 
Maybe you can help us with a few things. After all, you know everyone in the city. Mm -hmm. okay. Got connections, eh? <laughs> what a compliment. But of course I'll help if I can. I know you ever since you appeared in the city. Young, fresh, full of ambition. Mm -hmm. And little Marty had been just a chick when he was already coming here every day with his daddy, eh? <laughs> you like me so You've got a good memory, yeah. Mullen, apparently. Oh, thanks, Uncle Mullen. No, it's adorable, Uncle Mullen. What's up, old man? Is everything all right? How's business? Uh, me bones are creaking. Me eyesight's getting more and more blurry. And sometimes oh. I hear sounds that aren't even there. I don't I think I'm getting usually go to old. a doctor. Or maybe I've gone crazy already. But the old ticker's still ticking. So, here I am. I mean, you're an old people. I feel like you shouldn't be uh, hallucinating things. But what do I know? I'm not a doctor. Spot in the city. <laughs> ah, nothing lasts forever, boys. So, what is this dirt you've ended up in again, dirt. eh? Ah, uh, just a simple case, strumming <laughs> I'm not sure personal it's strings. <laughs> That's why I couldn't I mean, there's been a murder already, from you what we've done. Know the tune. Well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same old song, eh? Same old, same old, you know, yeah, casual it's murder. it's a classic. Casual blackmail threats and that sort of thing. So, Tumbling, what tangling up with a mob? Know? I'm at your service, my lads. My lads. Thanks, old pal. I like your voice. Let's see. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to skip through that. Okay, we'll ask about... Ibn's a ruthless Ibn. gangster, that's for sure. But he's not bloodthirsty or stupid. You're not in danger until you're in his way. And mm. that's not I mean, so I guess easy that's good. to manage as the whole city's in his hands. How come they never tried to approach you, Uncle? What's he well, going to do? <laughs> of course they tried. They wanted to buy the whole area and build some huge parking garage on it. Mung do we have permission to do something like that? One pug came here and threatened me more than once. Get Kevin so Murphy just do that. Heels in, the others would have sold up. The lawyers behind me, even Biff, the owner of Chandler's. Biff. But I told them over my cold dead carcass. Oh, I'm not sure how many like years you got left, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm too that's a bit much rude. <laughs> Or I'm just too famous around here to get rid of. Your beloved idol for us. We could say Ibn's almost almighty, but he avoids scandal like rats avoid fire. Honestly, yeah, surprising. That's a good one. Oh, I'm a Seems poor he's nobody tangled lads, up in such a shady my business. My name still carries meaning. This place has always belonged to my family. If my dead body had been found here or in the times, it would have caused a scandal, even without any evidence. So mm. he usually listens to reason. Probably, yeah, best yeah, not to get. When I talked to him tonight, he seemed disapproval of a public eye, dissolute and impetuous to me. I don't even know about that. That's <laughs> uncharacteristic. Are you sure it was him? You're suggesting he got replaced by a doppelganger? Ibn Wessler's not usually confused with anyone else. <laughs> that might be a plot twist. Of course I'm joking. Beaver humor, you know? <laughs> beaver Nobody humor. Gets it. Not even the beavers. <laughs> <laughs> Good one again. Ah, <laughs> uh, Marty. Hey, Are you asking about Marty? Up. How's that beautiful wife of yours? Laura's perfectly fine, thank you. Mm. It's crazy you could grab an amazing woman like her, son. Are you blackmailing her with something? I hope not. Ah, I missed your famous beaver humor. <laughs> you, you look a lot sadder than your voice suggested to me, yeah, but... Anyway, you look good. You're in good shape. You look more like a turkey than a rooster, if you ask me. <laughs> is that a compliment? Um, <laughs> this is it's more beaver humor. Thanks, Hercule. We'll be back again soon. Beaver yeah, humor going over sure my head. Will. <laughs> Monica Rosen. Who's Monica? She used to come here oh, while. yes, wait, behind me, Of course. Downtown. Yeah, she's the poster girl for workaholism. She it's lives in an apartment across bit. from the PD, but sleeps at the station, if she sleeps at all. She sounds like she doesn't have a very good work life balance, eh? And race through the years of their life until someone stops them, makes them wind down. Oh, how many birds have to sort of like keep going, like you know, their heart's going at like 200 beats per minute or something? Yeah. Oh! Right. Sorry, what was that? Yes. Is there someone like that waiting for everyone? Indeed, there is somewhere. <laughs> Usually not where we're looking for them. It's always yeah, in the last place you right. find him. Or last place you look. Sorry, that's not the phrase. How's Hercules. Desiree. She's still beautiful and she's still my wife. And I still don't get why she hasn't left me already. Oh, come on, man. Because she's too you're much a treasure. like you, you stubborn old damn builder. <laughs> you see, you're right about that, sonny boy. And, I don't uh, know, he runs with the punches. Cubs? Cubs? <laughs> More like jumbo cubs. 
I guess like 90% of the baby year. animals are called cubs. Galadia and Grassmoor? Interesting. Good move. Ah, yeah, but Galadia. They're good kids. I wonder if uh, we're gonna get more. They're from a good letter. What's the word? Exposition about the cities. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so, Sonny. <laughs> you know anything about a woman named Natasha Katsenko? I'd be shocked if he didn't. Sonny boy, what have you gotten yourself <laughs> into again? That lass is Ibn Wessler's property. That's honestly been everyone's reaction. Politely. She's the crown jewel of the What city. have you done, Sonny? A shining no star. Mm. If you dare talk to a girl such as her, you can expect some serious lead poisoning, me boy. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I suppose I should have come to you first for advice. Doesn't matter now. We're in it, Uncle. Up to our comb. We really stepped into it. If you'll accept the advice of an old shaggy beaver, get to the <laughs> end of it as quickly as you can and try Please. to make it out with all your feathers. Yeah, that's the point. Well, we're gonna do our best. But do you know anything about her? Anything, uh... Interesting. We want about jo hot heard, <laughs> Natasha is quite a serious cop. She came from the hot juicy gossip Sardom and fled to Clarville. Mm, we never from what? Probably no her life, I guess. Some years of her life are shrouded in mystery, and that really means good. If she doesn't want to talk about, right it, about it, that's fair that. enough. So, uh, that's your advice. Be careful. At good advice, Sonny boy. boy. And one more thing. Oh, what's that? Never fall in love with a woman like her. Well, sorry, Melon, but I think Sonny already fell for her. I wasn't planning to. Nobody plans to, Sonny. Just take care of each other, okay? And always carry a good gun in your pocket. I think Marty's oh, got back a sword. Have one in every exactly. Pocket, old timer. I know, Martin. I know. <laughs> Everyone knows about your weird gun craving tendencies so, or gun cravings. Not really, right? you want to know? No more new dialogue there. Anything else Seems to look him at? And me are very much alike. Birds of a feather flock together, as they say. Anything else to click on? Now, do you look at this piggy diggy lottery? Do you feel as lucky as this fella? I don't really know what to say to that, to be honest. But we've got eight new pieces of information. That's absurd. Deborah is de Deborah is dead! Exclamation <laughs> mark. I don't know why I felt was so entertaining to me. Um. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Mullen. He's a beaver. Old and full of secrets like a city itself. Mullen is an old cam comrade from before the times of a chicken police. So, from terribly long ago. I used to call him Uncle Mullen even when I was just a fresh patrolman. Even though he's a couple years older than me, he represents many things I wanted to become. Honest, wise, and always cheerful. He's certainly cheerful. He's got a lot of personality using that one. Mullen knows almost everything about everyone worth knowing. We should use this to our advantage. Old Mullen's kids flew out of a nest a long time ago, but he's eternal and unstoppable, just like some kind of ancient rock the city is built upon. You need a strong foundation to carry a city, as they say. I don't know if that's a saying, but it's just a thing. Monica. Monica's such a workaholic that she even moved to a block opposite the PD, but despite the move, she st still sleeps at the station very often. Hmm. Do we have something new about Ibn? Whichever reason, uh, even good old Mullen was approached by his men several times. So one, two, three, four, five. I don't think we talked about anyone else, unless Natasha. Bless of all the imposing names. Nope. Anything about Deborah? She's dead. We found Deborah's body in Natasha Katzenko's weakened house, naked with a message on her back. I don't even remember what black ma blackmail story is that I said. I'm at. Um, I don't think we talked about anyone else. Places, uh, codex, probably or places, maybe. Hot dog, weekend house. We've really got one more location. Oh, Millen's newsstand. A tiny kiosk in the heart of Calavera Heel he Heels Hills. It's small and almost invisible, but hides one of the most crucial things in this S hole. Knowledge. I mean knowledge is something, 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 I can't remember how the saying goes. <laughs> Grassmall? There's a savannah country that has been one of your one of the colonies of Clawville for two centuries before gaining its freedom in 792. Grassmoor is mostly inhabited by peaceful herbivore animals of exotic species. I wonder if we'll ever get to visit any of these other cities or we're we gonna be stuck here in Clawville. Not Clawville, but in, um whatever the city's called. Yeah, no wait, city of Clawville. I was gonna say. Living legend in all of these. Gumshoe, gutsy gumshoe. Um I think we'll just leave. I guess we don't really have anywhere else. Sorry. Anything else to do here? So we'll just sort of move on. Obviously, don't go to Hotel Atlas yet. Star Club, Clawville PD. 
Let's go to Dark Club. Try and see if we can find so Natasha. So what are we doing here again, Sonny? I don't know. Maybe we could question Natasha. She's probably not here anymore, babe. Do you think she's here? No. Who knows, Marty? We'll see. There's Filmar. Maybe he knows something. Filmar, Yeah, though. maybe he's not drunk as a skunk. <laughs> Love your rhyming and that. Stop projecting onto others, old chicken. Ah, shut the clock up, Marty. <laughs> shut up, Marty. It's <laughs> not my favorite line. <laughs> I'm sorry I hurt your precious feelings, boss bird. Boss bird. Hello, Filma. You're awfully close to us. Do you think it says new dialogue? Don't get me wrong, boss, but I saw how that song affected you. Marty, don't do it. What song? Stop playing innocent, Sonny. <laughs> Natasha's song, it made you freeze. I've never seen you like that before. He was starstruck. Yeah, you're imagining things, Marty. I was just uh, <laughs> paying attention because I like the song. It the has got a, really a little good, crush. Uh, orchestration. <laughs> orchestration. Orchestration. <laughs> Shut the clock up, Marty. Shut up, Marty. Okay, okay. Keep your feathers on. Don't know how you'd even take them off in Honestly, the first place. I thought you forgot how to breathe <laughs> for about two minutes. Marty, if you don't stop, I'm gonna peel your feathers off and cook you as a delicacy. I love this roasting us on here. Alright, alright. It's just too good. I love Marty's voice so much. Honestly, I thought you Probably my favorite character thus far. Why do I feel like I'm never gonna forget this sign? Because you it's have hard to a forget. photographic memory? What? You moron. <laughs> Bizarre, Shut up, Marty. I'm not gonna forget this buzzing red neon light anytime soon. At least quite an imprint in your mind, doesn't it? Well, Ibn's car is still here. If this car is still here, and Wessler's already gone. That means oh, yeah, it's, not his car. it's not his car. It's like your first day as a detective. You didn't consider that he could have my first multiple day. cars. Huh. You could be right. Maybe he gave this one to his own little I think you breathe in too much gun smoke, Marty. Mm, but I love the smell so much. It's like a smell of a gas station. Well, not Maybe not like it, not but like Westlers, like how people like it. I mean. Natasha's car. That would explain why she wasn't at the weekend house. She hadn't left here. Yeah, that intriguing, could be. Intriguing it's worth a look inside. Inside a car? I don't think the you can just look inside. Here. Could it be Natasha's? What else can we look at? Advertisement Moonlight Tower. Boulevard. Ah, oh, that movie. It's a real classic, I'm telling you. I like how advert for a dark club, despite the fact it's right if here. If you say so, Mr. Film Critic. <laughs> Laugh all you want, but believe it or not, very few have seen more movies in the city than me. So, you can believe me. I'll take your advert, Marty. never try to doubt your word. You seem if we well cultured really movie, when it comes to the movie world, unlike me. Chance of a happy ending. <laughs> if we were also, really a chance of a very sad ending, so um, let's not... Count our chickens before they actually. Tonight, maybe we'll be on the front page once again. I don't oh, think that's what we god should be aiming for. <laughs> Tonight, maybe. Oh god! I like how he's in a fighting pose. Like he's right. He's he's ready to throw down about it. All right, Filmer, what's up? Filmer looks a bit soaked, doesn't he? Well, probably the lack of umbrella. Raining. I didn't mean the rain, Marty. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Still, let's ask him what he saw. Maybe he can tell us he something He is useful. swaying. I'm not gonna lie. The old man still sees anything, eagle eye or not. Oh, he's an eagle eye detective. I just get still, it. Still, let's ask him what he saw. Very clever, hey, very funny. Bird. Oh my god, are you, are you okay? <laughs> you look rain. so, you look so dejected. Is that you, boys? I'm a little uh, tired. How do they make this animal face so expressive? I can see that, pal. Oh, it's all right. I just can't find my car. No see Your that eyes, well in the rain. They're just like voids. It's pretty bad. I should wear glasses. <laughs> Imagine that. A hawk wearing glasses. I want to see what animal glasses look like. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> you don't have ears to put there them on. There ain't nothing funny about it, Snowflake. Whoa, all right. Sorry. Have you seen uh, Natasha or Ibn since we left? I'm gonna be honest, I don't think this guy's seen much Ibn, of anything. I uh, got put off a long time ago. Natasha, I haven't seen her. Oh, I guess he's Thanks still doing anyway, his detective pal. job. Uh, good, good luck out, with Norbert. Your car. You uh, want some help? Could be that I didn't come here by car. I don't think you should what be driving. Think, sonny? Old friend. I think you should walk home, probably. Well, I would. Or take know public that, transport. Phil, but, uh, 
You take care, all right? Don't drink and drive, you know? Uh, and you are me? certainly not suitable <laughs> oh, to drive right now. Funny. Wait, hold on. I'll, I'll, no. Yes. Wait, sorry. Yes. <laughs> I want to see what his face normally looks like. Does it always... Oh, it made, like, made his eyes squint. Say, pal, oh, my this... word. <laughs> I love how shock skunt it sounds. Like. <laughs> I like you. Really, I do. So listen here. Whatever happens, yeah? Whatever happens. Never fall in love with that woman. I feel like that's happened to us twice. You mean I've been Natasha? Advice. Who else would I mean, bird brain? I know. Okay, okay, Phil. I promise. Monica? <laughs> I was trying to think of another female character. Deborah? Well, Probably a bit too late for Deborah. Maybe I came by bike. I don't think you should ride a bike either. Bike, huh? I have a hard time imagining that, pal. Do you even have a bike? Yeah, right. Me too. <laughs> okay, Phil. Maybe you flew, huh? Is that a thing that people. You? Oh, my word. Provoke me, Marty. <laughs> you hear? Hey, I was just kidding. Don't peck off my tail feathers, brother. Brother. <laughs> Maybe. All right, who should we talk to next? Archibald or well, just Arch hey, Archibald, boys, I guess. Tell me, is Natasha still in? Forgot inside? your name, like Leopold or something. I can't give you any information about that gentleman. Gentleman. I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I love his voice. I know. We've gotten used to it. Can we like go back in? Are we I'm allowed? Glad to hear that. And your boss, Wessler. Can we find him in the VIP lounge? Private information. I'm afraid I can't tell you that either. What's the point? But we can take a look for ourselves, right? No, no problem, gentlemen. Oh, sure. Thanks, nice. Wooly. Your friend's not the talkative type, is he? He understands <laughs> what we're saying, right? What are you implying, Molly? Don't anger me, chicken. Gabriel. your throat before you could say hemp seed. Hemp seed's a weird thing to <laughs> say, but sure. Just try, flea bag. Let's not start anything here, hey, right? Hey, folks, relax. The night's still young. We'll have plenty of time to tear each other's throats out, but right now we're busy. Everyone's always at each other's throats. <laughs> You're right. Bye, guys. Goodbye, gentlemen. No, hello again. We've got more to say. Excuse me, Apparently. are you the parking valet? <laughs> <laughs> you lost. Yeah, I'll have to practice that some more. Honestly, I just don't understand Excuse what that was. Me, are you the parking Is this a reference to something? Who knows? Entrance, who's inside? Wow. Big Buck's got even more ladies on him. Olivia talking to Fox Feller. You got more to say about these posters? Lupus is a buffoon. Oh my gosh, you guys have new things to say Whoa, about every single one he is, you'll That's see. incredible. Time will prove me right. Oh yeah. Are you trying to cancel him already? Maybe he is, but you're not gonna live long enough to see it, old fart. Oh, heating up over there. I'd never admit it to Marty, but this one looks kind of exciting. I just can't get over the fact that Casty has such like doe eyes, you know. <laughs> Cassandra Ruby Faye is probably the most horrified expression I've ever seen. Maybe Wessler's been sticking his grubby little hands into the movie industry. That'd be interesting. He probably had very There's interesting in stories that. and perspectives movies to tell. Movies mean big money in this town. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's like it's only All industry. Movie movies are the best in the whole wilderness. Mm. I could show you a few masterpieces from Averia. Will you take me there one day, darling? Ah. Of course, dear. Soon as you become housebroken. A movie about that? the chicken police. <laughs> I'd love to see that. That did not seem particularly relevant to the conversation we just had, but sure. Would you have thought Natasha's such a big film buff? I can easily picture her on the silver screen. She looks the part, doesn't hey, she? Maybe one day they'll make a movie out of our adventures. Oh, even better, we made a video game. You never know, Marty. <laughs> That's like I a step down, Natasha depending on, on who you talk to. Like this, <laughs> with a police chicken right beside her. Are you like fantasizing, Sunny? Are you alright? All these movies are basically the same, right? Only on the surface, Sonny. There are some important recurring elements, but the emphasis is on the characters, their past, and their relationships. The story in the background is just the stage, the limelight's on the actors. That was incredibly eloquent, Marty, You're I'm not really lying. interested in these things, huh? Well, I mean, it's Hell yeah. hobby and passion. What I wouldn't give to investigate a movie star one day. Even if they Probably kill a lot of drugs, or devoured imagine, someone. Especially if they killed or devoured someone. Uh, what? 
I suppose it would be quite an eventful life to look at. Oh, we can't look at this one. I guess that's why it's outside. Have a look at Fox Valley. Think taking a shine to Olivia now? Why should I care? And while we're at it, why do you care? It's just a what could have been, you know? <laughs> I, I don't care at all. You got a girlfriend, Marty. Why do you ask? What? Stop bugging me. <laughs> Wait, hold a minute. We didn't click on this one, did we? What weird titles these have. This gun for hire. This gun for hire. Who does he think he is? <laughs> Fantastic Mr. Fox? So confirmation Roald Dahl exists in this what universe, which is strange. you, Marty? You are racist now? <laughs> Who, me? No, on the contrary. But... I don't like how he looks at Olivia. Shouldn't be so well, jealous, Marty. They look good together. They're only missing a slice of cheese. Oh, are you referencing Aesop's fables? Wow. Yeah, very <laughs> funny. I know that one. There's something about the fox flatter, fla Drop flatter, it, what was it? Flattering, that's a word. The crow, and so she drops a piece of cheese or whatever. Wesler's secretary could even know something Sorry. useful. I don't remember it very well. I talked about it in an Animal Crossing episode. So Just go find the exact one I'm thinking of, and you can How see for yourself. Unpleasant. Olivia, I'm sorry, it's Olivia. always a pleasure. We won't keep you long. Perhaps you could tell us if you've seen Natasha. She hired you, and you already lost sight of her. That's unfortunate. We're not our bodyguards. We should have met her, but she didn't show up. Should we be worried? Probably. Are you asking me that? I haven't seen her since she was on stage. Not like I was paying any attention to her or anything. <laughs> So Sunday. Thanks, sweetheart. We won't bother you anymore. Thanks, Thanks Olivia. Don't mention it. <laughs> she sounds so pissed at us. Just one Sorry, more excuse thing, my language, but... <laughs> Did you perhaps tell us where Mr. Wessler is? It, it's his game, you know. I thought a swear would be appropriate, but now I regret it, so um, that's fine. It's 26 minutes into a video. No one will hear it. <laughs> I'm his assistant, not his babysitter. Beaky. Beaky. So you don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Roger that. Thank you. Do you not have like a pager? So, gentlemen, is there anything else? <laughs> Why is she so annoyed at us? Oh, thanks, Olivia. We're good. We're probably having a moment over here. I guess that's why. Can't ask you about anything else. It's fair. Look at the stage. Whatever you say, Sonny, what Natasha was doing on the stage, no man can ignore. Or woman, for that matter. Mm -hmm. I didn't say I ignored it, Marty. But you gotta learn to separate the client from the job. Mm. Ah, that's a cheap Sorry, script, just noises Sonny. Out. You know the world doesn't work like that. And you definitely don't work like that. He was rather enraptured, if you wasn't say he? So. You know, Sonny, I love Laura. And I swear I'm gonna marry her one day. But I gotta admit, that Natasha woman has you. turned even my head. I wouldn't mess oh. with Laura if I were you, pal. Wouldn't even think about it. I want to see who Laura there is. There are few women as dangerous as her. And not just because she's a predator. Do we even know which species she is? Uh, you're telling me. I wonder if we'll get to meet her one day. The moon hangs in the sky. <laughs> what? 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 I'm well, credited with subtitles there for not spoiling it, but that was rather unexpected. Where's the squirrel girl gone? A little waitress. This guy was here before, right? He's handling it pretty well. Yeah, he's got and more people around there are him. even more pretty dames all over him. You think they dig his antlers that much? Very magnificent, aren't more they? Like Sorry, I don't mean to be money. shooting you, Sonny. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's a pretty <laughs> wallet. There was a time when women were all over us. Why the past tense, Sonny? I'm so pretty damn hot. <laughs> You're taking man, Marty. Sure You're taking you are, man. Marty. Keep on dreaming. Never lose hope. I don't even miss those times. That, that's your bit of heart talking there, Sonny. Can't talk to you. Can't talk to you. Hello, bartender. I guess we can't go into the VIP lounge. I can't stand that guy. Why doesn't he have his mane cut? It's in style. It's in vogue right so now. Old, old man. It's a different world now. That's bad. Yeah, oh. Fashion. Fashion. Hello again, Bojack. Please don't call me that, sir. Sir. <laughs> you're right. I'm sorry. Uh, what's your name again? Did we ever ask his name? Oh, if you really must know, I'm Lance, sir. Okay, Lance. <laughs> Listen, it's very important. Oh, please, sir. Don't get me involved in anything. 
I just wanna get my shift over with and go home to sleep. I wanna see you, Mead. Relax, there won't be a problem. Just answer the questions honestly. Hmm. I swear you won't tell a lie in the Bible or something. Give it a try. Or the old gods. Right, kid. Book equivalent. Lance. Ah, Lance. Yeah. So, have you seen <laughs> Natasha yeah. since her performance? No, no. Don't ask me anything about Miss Kitsenko and Mr. Westler. It could cost me my job or even more. Even more? Hey, your job? It's a matter of national security. You don't sound very it convinced about Marty. Yeah, see, it could be. So, <laughs> if you help, you won't only be helping us, but the crown and the whole city of Clawville. It's rather dramatic. Oh, okay, all right, just stop that chicken shit, will ya? <laughs> oh, I yeah. saw Natasha, yeah. I love how he's she came down, again. spoke with someone, then stormed out the front door. See, I wasn't too hard, eh? And then what happened? Who did she, she speak to, do right you think? back in, two or three minutes later, soaked to the bone. She was in a hurry. She went up to her suite, then came back down and left. And Interesting. you haven't seen her since. Who is she be I speaking genuinely to? I haven't seen her ever since, sir. Thanks, Lance. Lance didn't recognize whoever she was speaking to, or couldn't see, I suppose. So I'm it's not a named character we know. That. Or a regular, so probably. Natasha had left. Seems so. But she never arrived at the weekend house. She gets stopped along the way, maybe? Then, then we'll stay with the original plan. We'll gather our thoughts at the office and go over everything we know. Okay, Bossberg. Bossberg. Lead the way. No, we've got to go back to a police station first, right? Or have we, have we already been to a police station? I can't remember. We were never here. Sure, sir. <laughs> we still never paid you for the drink. If anyone asks, sure, sir. And he's not chasing up her, just chasing us up about guy. it. Why doesn't he stop being so old, old? I don't remember if we. I think we went to the police station already, didn't we? We can have a quick look and then we'll head on over back to Hotel Atlas. We went in, didn't we? Phyllis and Roy's are nowhere to be seen. No? Well, Praise I guess we'll do this next time then. Ones. So, if you haven't watching, this has been Jacob. Oh my word, I just clicked randomly. If you haven't been watching, this has been Chicken. Thank you very much. This has been Chicken Police. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscription, shares, all greatly appreciated. Links down below. Hope we can see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye bye for now.